making sure that you're on your hidden layer. You will take lines from the east and west quadrants of the circle You can trim these projection lines using the 45 degree line. So you select the 45 degree line, press enter, then select the part of the line that you want to trim. And then you can project these lines over to going from this surface to this surface on the part. to bring up the object snap commands, you will, after you select your line tool, you will hold your control key down on your keyboard and select the right mouse button on your mouse. That will bring up the object snap commands. To make sure that this is indicated as a circle or a circular feature, we will need to make sure that we have a center line going through the middle of these two hidden lines here. So we will change our layer to the center layer. And you will take a line from the center of the circle we will go perpendicular to that right surface and perpendicular to this surface. We will use the lengthen command to add an additional one eighth of an inch to the length of the center line that we just drew. To add that additional length, we will select the delta option and type in the fraction 1 8 of an inch, press enter, and we will select the ends of the line that we want to add the additional length to. And then we will change the properties or the line type scale properties for that center line. We will do the same for the 0.625 diameter circular feature in the top
so I can see the center line, what I will suggest doing is turning off the layer that the line of symmetry is on. So I will go to the layers and click on the light bulb to turn the projection planes layer off. 